Okay. Good morning, kids. Uh, good morning, Magandang Teacher Aldrin. Umaga. Good morning, Teacher Justin. A blessed Sunday to all of us, kids. Today is the third Sunday of uh, February, the 2nd yeah. of 2021. Mm-hmm. At uh, Teacher Justin, for the whole month of February, meron tayong special lesson for the kids. Since uh, they call February as the love month, so ang pag-uusapan natin uh, this morning is the, the the whole month is the love of God, L-O-V-E. So I understand, Teacher Justin, tapos na tayo sa L at saka sa O. Uh-huh. So first Sunday, God's law. And then second Sunday, last week, God's, God's own son. son. So for this Sunday, pag-uusapan naman natin yung verdict, verdict. o yung hatol ng Diyos doon sa mga tao na na-predestin niya. So, yun ang ating topic for this morning, Peter Justin. But before anything else, can you lead us in prayer, Peter Justin? Okay, let us pray, kids. Uh, Teacher Aldrin. Okay, let's pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this morning. May you bless our discussions for today together with the Sunday school students and also their parents, Father God. May you help us to understand your word for today and may give us wisdom and understanding so that we might be able to apply what we are going to learn this uh, morning. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So just a quick review. Last week, ang napag-usapan natin is uh, God's great love. Dahil sa kanyang pagmamahal, He demonstrated it by uh, sending His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. The Father sent His Son to die and resurrect so that we can be forgiven of our sins and have eternal life. Tapos natutunan din natin na yung salvation or saving ourselves from God's wrath is impossible for us to do. Kasi we are unworthy to satisfy His justice. Only Jesus Christ, the perfect Lamb of God without any spots mm. and without any defects, Siya lang yung tinanggap ng Ama na uh, bilang kabayaran ng, o yung sacrifice para mapabayaran yung kasalanan. Tapos, Teacher Justin, binalikan din namin yung kwento nung, ano, nung Passover sa Exodus. At sinabi nga namin doon na yung lamb, yung blood ng lamb, kapag nilagay mm-hmm. sa doorpost, yeah. uh, angel of death will pass over. Yeah. So, ngayon, uh, ang death na judgment ng sin can also be passed over by the blood of a lamb. At yung lamb na yun, dapat perfect and perfect. Uh, spotless. So, only Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, without any spots or defects, is the only one who satisfied fully the wrath of God. Jesus Christ, in His obedience, willfully laid down His life for the ones whom the Father has predestined. So that was the lesson last week, Peter Justin. How about the lesson for this morning? Can you okay. give us an overview? Yeah, now here's the overview for our lesson for today, kids. So for today, we will get to know God's verdict or kanyang hatol mismo para kanino towards His children. In the relation to the Lord's uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ life sa kanyang buhay, pagkamatay at pagkamuling pagkabuhay. Okay? Muling pagkabuhay. And in the relation to that, kids, um, this uh, day, right 2021, okay? We talk already we we have talked already regarding to God's law and regarding God's own son. And today we will talk about God's verdict. And in the coming Sunday, we will talk more about God's embrace. So when we talk about God's verdict is Jesus perfectly completed the work given to him by his father. Okay? To secure, uh, what is the will of the father kids? To secure the redemption of those whom he pre- predestined to be God's children. Okay? Meron na siyang pinili. And the Lord Jesus Christ did the work of redemption. And so kids, with this completed task by the Lord Jesus Christ comes the verdict. Nagkaroon ng decision ng Diyos kung sino yung maliligtas at bibigyan niya mismo ng buhay na walang hanggan or eternal life and they will not be considered guilty anymore before His eyes. Next, Teacher Aldrin. So, Mr. Justin, kids, alam ko na discuss na namin to sa inyo in uh, many occasions before, pero just a review. Okay. So, meron tayong apat na terms in relation to salvation. Kaya nga, salvation word bank. So, una dyan is for destination. This was discussed to you kids na many, teacher Justin, two Sundays ago. God decided. It was the choice of God. God decided when, even before there was creation, before the foundation of the world, gumawa na ng decision ang Diyos na ano, yung destination ng ilang tao will be in heaven. 
Remember, lahat tayo ang destinasyon papuntang impyerno. Pero, because of God's love, pumili siya ng ilan na hindi pupuntang impyerno, pero pupunta ng langit. Tama. Next to that, teacher Justin, is something synonymous to predestination. Yeah. Next case is election. Meaning, those predestined by God are appointed to believe and trust in Jesus. So kids, we cannot know who are those elect unless they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. If they truly believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and repented of their sins, then they are one of God's elect or chosen people of God. Number three, the children. Number three is redemption. Those elected by God are bought back set free from the bondage of sin by the death of the Lord Jesus Christ. Importante yun kasi walang redeeming work kung hindi nagpakamatay si ang Panginoong Jesus sa Cruz. So that is what we call redemption. And the last one, kids, those redeemed by Jesus are declared not guilty of sinning against a holy God or they have been declared by God as righteous. Okay? That's why, kids, these four uh, Salvation World Bank that we have here can only be possible with God's sovereignty. Okay, Meaning the supreme power and the authority of God guarantee that every detail of His plan, predestination, um, redemption, and uh, justification, and the election will surely happen because... God planned, planned it and He will surely do it. Therefore, kids, every child of God, every person who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ will be justified. Okay? Meaning, wala siyang nagawang pagkakamali. Okay? At lahat ng tama nagawa niya. Okay? That only possible, kids, if he or she believes in the work, in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ, of what He has done on the cross. Children? Tama, Teacher Justin. And kids, for this morning, meron tayong short video lesson, and uh, this is an animated video clip. Uh, but then again, kids, remember, our, our standard natin is the Bible, so you have to refer to Luke uh, chapter 23, verses 39 to 43, for the biblical account. So, let's watch the video, kids. same sentence we did but he has done no wrong remember me jesus when you when you come as king i promise you today you will be in paradise with me
resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. So kids, that video was about the thief on the cross. Actually, two thieves, pero isa lang sa kanila yung naniwala. So makita natin dito, kids, talaga yung uh, salvation natin wala sa atin. Kasi nga, napansin nyo, kids, the Lord Jesus Christ prayed, nagdasal siya, and the Father answered the Lord's prayer, kaya may naligtas. Isa sa mga naligtas na yon ay yung thief on the cross. Sa so, tingin mo, Peter Justin, yung thief on the cross na yan, predestined kaya ng Diyos? Nakasulat kaya yung pangalan niya sa Lamb's Book of Life? Titignan natin, Teacher Aldrin. Remember kids, uh, both robbers or thief on the cross reviled. Okay? Binabash nila the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are the Son of God, if you are King, then save yourselves and us. Okay? And in the same way, sabi siya sa verse 44, kids, in the same way, the rebels who were crucified with Him also heap insults on Him. Pero kids, because of God's predestination, okay, nagdesisyon ng Diyos, to save one of them. Okay? Sabi dyan, but only one acknowledge his sin and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Sabi in verse 40, but the other criminal rebuke him. Don't you fear God? So nagkaroon kids ng, ng, ng change of heart. Okay? Kanina, minamak niya ang Diyos. Okay? Binabas niya ang Panginoong Jesus, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. But, right now, niriribik niya na yung kasama niyang thief. Hindi ka ba taot sa Diyos? Since you are under the same sentence, okay, we are punished justly, but we are getting what our deeds deserve. Pero kids, nakita niya the Son of God, one of the thief kids, okay, look unto Jesus as God who did nothing wrong. Okay? Kaya naligtas siya kids because he is predestined. Kids, wala pa siyang kakayahan nun, kids, na gumawa or itama ang kanyang pagkakamali because he was hung on that cross. Okay? Wala pa siyang wala siyang pagkakataon na, wait lang, Jesus, uh, uh, I have to uh, donate first uh, my money. Okay? Pero kids, wala. Walang, in our salvation, kids, walang work involved except the work of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm a teacher Justin. And yung makita mo, teacher Justin, sa verse 42, naniniwala may faith yung thief na yung mm. eternal destination niya naka-anchor kay Jesus Christ. Alam niya na si Jesus papunta sa paraiso. Kaya si Jesus lamang ang kanyang bukod tanging pag-asa. That's faith. Tama yeah. ka sa sanay mo, nagkaroon siya ng change of heart at nagkaroon siya ng faith. Yeah. Next, teacher Aldrin. So, masabi natin, teacher Justin, na masasabi natin, teacher Justin, na isa siya sa appointed. Yeah. The thief on the cross who bashed the Lord and who did bad things in his life, kasi nga, criminal siya, was justified even when he was not able to do some charitable works to offset his bad works, as most people think. Kasi akala, Tito Justin, ng marami, pag gumawa ka ng kasalanan, palitan mo ng kabutihan. Pero it was proper nga na nanote mo kanina na nakahang yung thief on the cross. Wala siyang oras o panahon para gumawa Mua ba at gumawa ng kabutihan? Kasi nga, mamatay na siya. So talagang ang Diyos ang kumilos at gumawa ng paraan para maligtas yung thief at yung mga tao sa ngayon. So bakit nga ba, Tichy Aldrin? Why was he justified and how? So kids, the hmm. reason is this. Why was he justified? Bakit siya, uh, he was declared righteous by God? That today you will be with me in paradise? Okay. The thief was justified only because God predestined him out of God's love or the love of God. And how was he how was he justified? Paano nangyari yun kids? Okay? The thief was justified only by faith graciously given to him by God. Kids, tingnan niyo diyan ha. Saan nagmumula yung love and gift na yan? Comes from the Lord Jesus Christ necessary for our salvation okay the faith and uh, believing in the lord jesus christ is necessary for us to be justified with god pero kanino mang gagaling yan sa dios din kasi siya naman ang nag-initiate for our salvation 
Tama ka dyan, Teacher Jasmine. And if we can look at our uh, verse support in Romans chapter 8, uh, verses uh, 29 to 30, dito nakalagay, For those God foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And mm-hmm. those He predestined, He also called. Those He called, He also justified. Those He justified, He also glorified. Makita nyo, kids, take note to the verses, uh, verse 30, uh, of the tenses ng mga ano, verbs pala, sorry, na past tense na. Kasi uh, sa mata ng Diyos, already done deal yan, tapos na. Yung for no, teacher Justin, mm. is not only about God's uh, omniscience, it's also about Him choosing people, uh, having chosen people na nagset siya ng pagmamahal. Kumbaga, for love, minahal na niya noon pa man. Mm. Wala pa man ginagawa yung thief on the cross, kids, minahal na yun ng Diyos noon pa. Kaya yun, naligtas sa bingit ng, nasa ano siya, malapit na siya mamatay, pero hindi pinalagpas ng Diyos ang pagkakataon na maligtas siya. Bakit? Kasi mahal siya ng Diyos. Yun din yung sinabi natin sa Ephesians 1.5, di ba? In love, predestined Destined. us. So, love ang dahilan talaga kung bakit na predestined at nakapaniwala yung thief on the cross at siya ay na-justify. Sa blue verse naman, kids, makita natin in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 9, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Peter Justin yung iba, ang sinasabi, ang gift dito ay salvation. Totoo naman, Romans 6.23 tells us that eternal life is God's gift. Pero, mm-hmm. it's not wrong to say that in this verse, yung uh, faith is also a gift. Kasi kung tutusin, Peter Justin, in your preaching, James 1.17, mm. every good and perfect, perfect gift, gift comes from, from above. So ang faith as a gift is also from God. Wala naman kasi nakapag-manufacture ng faith sa sarili niya. Hindi yan parang plant na mayroong photosynthesis at makakap- may chlorophyll, makapag-manufacture ng sariling food. Walang ganun sa atin. Ang faith is a gift given only to those appointed by God. Acts 13.17. 48. And next dyan, teacher Aldrin, is the word justification or declared righteous by God. So God's proclamation done out of love since eternity past or long, long time ago is declaring His children, okay? This is the biblical meaning of justification, kids. Declaring His children righteous and placing them in a state of legal perfection on the basis of the merited righteousness which is provided by freely by the Lord Jesus Christ for those who are in Christ kids yung righteousness na yan okay imputed for those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ which is what we call Christ's righteousness because kids on our own righteousness we cannot be justified All of our righteous deeds are just filthy rags in the sight of God. So what we need, kids, is an alien righteousness. Righteousness that come, that that does not come from our own, but comes from solely in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. And also, what does it mean to be justified? Meaning, declared righteous by God. Sino naman ngayon yung majajustified? Sino ang magja-justified pala? Sorry. It was God. Hindi tao ang magpapasya, hindi si Teacher Aldrin. Or hindi uh, your parents, hindi si Pastor. Ang magpapasya, kids, the Lord Jesus, God Himself. Okay, di ba? Nabasa natin in John chapter 1, verse 12 to 13. It was God who gives us the right to become His children. Siya rin magja-justified, kids. Okay? Sino yung mga na-justified? Those are God's children. Those are who have been born of God. Yun yung mga bidigyan ng faith to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so kids, kailan sila ginustify ng Diyos? Kids, since eternity past, a very long time ago, alam na ng Diyos kung sino yung maja-justify. Okay? And bakit sila na-justify? Because of God's love. Okay? For those whom God foreknew. Okay? So in short case, justification is not our work but of God's. The work of God 
himself. Teacher Aldrin? I mean to that, uh, Teacher Justin. So kids, remember, justification is not our work. Every step of the salvation ladder is made possible only by the love, grace, and mercy of God. Kids, naging posible lang ang salvation because of God. And every step of the way, ang Diyos ang kumilos, ang nagpasimula nun, at siya rin ang magtatapos. Pasalamat tayo doon, Peter Justin. Kasi if meron doon parte na nakasalalay sa atin, papalpak tayo. Ibabagsak natin yun. Hindi magiging accomplish o hindi ma-accomplish ang salvation. Kaya salamat tayo, salvation was initiated, started, and will be completed, fulfilled by a sovereign God. Tama. And so kids, uh, justification is by God-given faith in Jesus. Okay? Anong sabi kids sa Romans 3, 22 to 24? Diba? Ang sabi dyan, this righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ. Para kanino kids? For to all who believe. Okay? And so kids, um, diba nalala nyo sa school, no ID, no entry? The same kids sa heaven. No righteousness, no entry. At paano tayo magkakaroon ng righteousness, kids? Righteousness that does not belong to our own. Okay? It can only be given, kids, through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? The righteousness of Christ will be imputed for those who truly believe on Him. Okay? Ang sabi din sa Galatians chapter 2, verse 16, 15 to 16, kids, that we may be justified by faith In Christ, if we put our faith on Him. Continuing, kids. Ang justification ay ang hatol o God's verdict for those whom He has predestined. So ito yung uh, declaration niya sa mga taong kanyang predestined. Ang sabi sa Romans chapter 5, verse 1, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Kids, kapag ito ay na-justified, meron ka ng kapayapaan sa Diyos. Dati, you are a child of wrath. By nature, children of wrath. Pero, when you are justified, you are adopted. Anak ka na ng Diyos at meron ng kapayapaan. Yung relasyon na, na-establish na at may mapayapang relasyon between you and God. Hindi na siya galit sa iyo. Hindi dahil sa mabuti ka, kundi dahil may ipinataw o may ibinigay na righteousness si Jesus sa iyo. Imputed righteousness sa iyo. In Romans chapter 8 verse 1, yan din yung nasa likod namin, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Kanino? Kids, for those who are in Christ Jesus. Hindi para sa lahat. Napaka-specific. Ang wala mm-hmm. lamang condemnation ay yung mga tao na na kay Kristo. At ito rin yung mga tao na predestined, na elect, na redeem, at na justified. So, God's verdict for those who were justified in Christ is that they were already righteous in His sight. So, ito yung a truth na kailangan nating embrace or celebrate, kids. Because in the Lord Jesus Christ, tayo ay righteous na sa Kanyang paningin. For our sake, He made Him to be seen. Diba? No one is righteous, kids. And the Lord Jesus Christ did nothing wrong also. So, balik, kabaliktaran na tayo, kids, ng, ng Diyos. Okay? Tayo yung makasalanan, ang Diyos ay walang kasalanan. But you know what, kids? Christ, who had no sin, became sin for us so that in Him, what? Ang sabi sa 2 Corinthians 5.21, we might become the righteousness of God. So, kids, yan yung en- entry natin or ID natin in heaven. The righteousness of God. At sino lamang kids ang merong ganyan, righteousness of God? Those who are God's elect or pinili ni redeem at saka justified ng Diyos. So what are the truths to remember, Teacher Aldrin? Okay, so kids, for the past uh, two Sundays, since beginning of February, we have been discussing uh, God's love. At marami tayong katotohanan na natutunan. For today, ito yung gusto namin ibabaon sa inyo. Una, Because of the sacrifice ng ating Panginoon na ginawa sa krus, wala ng kondemnasyon, wala ng hatol, hindi na guilty ang mga taong na kay Kristo. Mm-hmm. So, tandaan niyo yung kids, ha? If you are a child of God, 
then there is no more condemnation. Wala nang katulog parusa. Bakit? Eh, napagbayaran na ng Panginoong Yesus. Second, God's verdict that He finds no guilt anymore to those redeemed by Jesus is final and irreversible. It's important ito. Final and irreversible. Hmm. Hindi na pwedeng palitan at hindi na pwedeng mabawi pa. Yun ang desisyon ng Diyos. Kapag anak kita, adopted child kita, hindi ka na hahatulan pa. At wala nang pwedeng makapagpabago na desisyon na yun. So kids, the third truth we need to remember is this. Justification is by faith and not by works. It's important yung object ha, o subject ng faith. By faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It is also not by works natin. Kasi it is by the work, singular, na ginawa ng Panginoon on the cross. Kaya wala tayo may pagmamalaki. Tinrabaho ng Panginoong Yesus yung salvation, yung, justi- yung redemption natin para tayo ay ma-justify. Hindi natin, hindi tayo ang gumawa nun. So kids, tatlo lang naman yan. Tatandaan ninyo for this week. Pero in relation to that, meron din mga tatlong katotohanan na dapat natin i-apply. Mr. Justin, what are those truths? Now, here's the truth to apply, kids. Number one, remove any doubts regarding your standing before God. Diba? Natutunan natin kay Teacher Aldrin. Kanina sa truths to remember, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Okay? He removed already all of our sins. We may sin, kids, but with the heart of repentant, uh, with a repentant heart, rather, so... We will confess our sins and God will forgive, uh, forgive us. Okay? Remember that uh, to remove any doubts regarding to your standing before God, you are already justified before a holy God if you truly believe on Him and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Number two, praise God. Okay? Papuri sa Diyos for graciously clothing us With what clothing? The righteousness of Jesus Christ. The righteousness of Christ kids was imputed for the one who believes solely in the person and work of our Lord Jesus Christ, not works of the law or your own work. Good work. Good works, okay? But rather solely by the uh, righteousness of Christ. And also, number three, kids, work out, not work for, okay? For your salvation with fear and trembling because it is God who works in you both to will and to work for His good pleasure. Remember, kids, ha? Kailangan merong makitang good works for those who believes already in the Lord Jesus Christ or for those who profess that they are Christians. Already, kailangan merong makitang good fruit or good work. Kasi kids, even the devil believe with, with, with fear and trembling yun. But they do not trust at walang fruit na nakikita sa kanila. And so kids, we should work it out. Kasi yun din ang pagkatawag ng Diyos sa atin. Diba? Sa Ephesians 2.10, you are God's masterpiece, okay? created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Okay, so those are the truths to apply that we need to remember for this week, kids. And for our memory verse, Teacher Aldrin. Okay, for our memory verse, kids, none other than the one na nakikita niyo sa background namin. So Romans chapter 8 verse 1, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. You're just in. Importante kasi ang saving faith, di ba? Alam natin may tatlong elemento. You know, you agree, pero yung pinaka-importante doon is dapat you trust. Ang isang tao na may saving faith, dapat magtitiwala lagi sa katotohanan ng verse na to. Kasi there will mm-hmm. come a time, Teacher Justin, na tayo, di ba, minsan magda-doubt na ba't ko nagagawa ito? Ligtas ba talaga ako? Uh, kaya lang, huwag natin pag uh, tuunan ng pansin masyado yung doubt natin. Ang pagkuha natin ng pansin, yung katotohanan ng uh, pangako na ito. wala ng condemnation sa kanino sa mga tao na kay Kristo. In Romans chapter 1 verse 7, inilatag ng Apostol Pablo yung kasamaan ng mga ng sanlibutan ng Gentile at saka ng mga Hudyo. Tapos inilatag din niya yung righteousness ng Diyos na ang law hindi sapat para 
uh, makapagpa-justify sa atin. Tapos mm-hmm. pagdating niya sa Romans chapter 8, ito yung kanyang unang bungan. Therefore, ibig sabihin, in conclusion ng mga inilatag niyang katotohanan sa first seven chapters, ito yung glorious truth. Wala nang condemnation or hatol na naghihintay sa mga taong na kay Kristo. Dear Justin, sino ba yung mga na kay Kristo na yun? O yung Christ, Jesus? Who are those people? Kids, yung mga in, uh, those people who are in Christ are those whom God predestined, God elect, God uh, redeemed and justified. So sila yung kids, yung pinakamatayan ng Diyos, anak na si Jesus Christ. Therefore kids, the Lord Jesus Christ in His flesh, He condemned the sin. Kaya nga kids, there is now no condemnation because on behalf of those who truly believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, they are already forgiven. The punishment has been satisfied, paid already in full by the Lord Jesus Christ by His life. Tama, Teacher Justin. Nabangit mo yung paid. Kunyari, kids, si Peter Justin may utang sa Banko de Oro, 2 million pesos. E binayaran ko na. Meron ko bang kailangan bayaran si Peter Justin sa Banko de Oro? Paid ne, already paid. Pagpunta niya doon, sasabihin ng teller, Mr. Sabado, your debt has already been paid in full. Wala na po kayong babayaran. Ganon din sa atin, kids. Pinagbayaran na ng Panginoong Isa Kristo. So ano pa yung sisingilin sa atin ng Diyos Ama? Wala na siyang sisingilin kasi completely and satisfactorily paid na in full kids hindi installment ha pinayaran niya in full hindi installment kaya doon tayo magtitiwala Peter Justin sa pangako at sa katotohanan na sinasabi ng verse na yan isinulat yan ng Apostle Pablo by the inspiration of uh, through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit kaya dapat nating i-embrace siyang katotohanan na yan so Peter Justin kapag ikaw ay nakay Kristo paano yan nga pala may tanong ako Peter Justin Yeah. Paano kung bukas makapaggawa ko ng kasalanan? Kunyari, uh, nakapagnakaw ako o nakapagmura ako o nakapagsinungaling ako. Ibig bang sabihin, mahatulan pa rin ako. Mawawala ba yung aking ano, kaligtasan? Okay. Salamat sa tanong, Teacher Aldrin. Ano bang sinasabi ng Biblia Kids? Ano ba ang mas matimbang? Yung kasalanan mo o yung pangako ng Diyos? Tama. So, kids, ang mangyayari doon, yung pangako ng Diyos. Kasi kids, meron tayong pangako sa Diyos, di ba? Pero minsan, napapako yun. Pero ang Diyos, pag nangako, ay hindi napapako. Tinutupad niya ito. Regardless kung sino ka or ano yung ginawa mo. Kung pinangakuan ka ng Diyos at naniwala ka doon, mangyayari yun sa'yo. Pag sinabi niyang wala ng condemnation, ay wala ng condemnation. Kahit ano pa man, wala nang makakapag-separate sa iyo sa pagmamahal ng Diyos. Tama, at magdi-discuss natin 'yan na mas uh, deeper next Sunday, uh, Teacher Justin. Mm-hmm. Kapag pinag-usapan natin yung God's embrace. God's embrace, embrace ng Diyos sa kanyang mga anak. Okay. So for today, Teacher Justin, that's all our uh, lesson. Uh, ang verdict ng Diyos sa mga taong na justify or in Christ wala nang hatol o wala nang condemnation. Tama. So, Teacher Aldrin, why don't you close us in prayer? Okay. Sige, kids. Teacher Justin, tayo ay magdasal. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you po for uh, this morning's lesson. Salamat for reminding us na wala na pong condemnation para sa mga mm. tao na lovingly pre-destined niyo po before the foundation of the world. No one among us deserve yung ganun pong benepisyo at yung ganun pong grasya. Pero salamat po at dahil sa inyong pagmamahal ay uh, pinili nyo po ang iilan para maging anak ninyo. Ang dalangin ko po, uh, sana ang katotohanan ito, hindi lang po namin sapat na marinig pero maisabuhay din po namin. At sana po maibahagi rin po namin sa aming mga kalaro, pinsan, kapitbahay, kakilala. Maraming salamat po sa inyong paggabay sa amin. We thank you for your love, mercy, and grace. And until next Sunday po, God willing, for another time po to study your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God teacher. God bless Aldrin. kids. Thank you, kids. God bless. God bless. Bye-bye. Salamat. Bye-bye.